What's up, Calc gang? Welcome back to Dynamics. So let's solve this problem. So we have a box that's sliding down a slope to find by that equation, and it tells us that at five meters, uh, our velocity in the x direction is negative three meters a second, and our acceleration in the x direction is negative one point five meters a second. Now our goal is to find velocity in the y direction and acceleration in the y direction at that moment. So let's go ahead and figure that out, right? So to do that, uh, we're probably going to need to take some derivatives, right? Because we're going to position equation, and we want to find velocity and acceleration. So let's start with our equation, right? y is equal to 0 0.05 x squared. Now we're going to need to find the derivative of this, but with respect to time, so we're going to need to use the chain rule. So let's go ahead and find y dot. So of course it's going to become that two is going to come down. So this is going to become 0 0.1. Then there's going to be the x instead of the x squared. But now when we're taking the derivative of x, with respect to t, we're going to get x dot. So here becomes our y dot equation. So now if you want to find out what happens at 5 meters, we just need to plug in what we know. So y dot is equal to 0 0.1 x. x is 5 meters, right? So we can just plug in a 5 there. And x dot, right? That's velocity in the x direction. So this is going to become negative 3. So now we have negative 15 times 0 0.1. So we're going to get that y dot is equal to negative 1.5 meters per second. And so here, that's our first answer. That's velocity in the y direction, same thing, just different writing. So now let's find out acceleration in the y direction. So that's going to become y double dot. So now we just need to take another derivative of this, so y double dot, then it becomes 0 0.1. Well now we have an x and an x dot, so we're going to need to use product rule for this. So let's start with the x. So this is going to become, x is going to become x dot. Then we still have this x dot that we don't take the derivative above. Then we have to add it to the other side of the chain rule, so 0 0.1. That x is going to stay, but then we're going to take this x double dot. So this is going to simplify to 0 0.1 x dot squared plus 0 0.1 x x double dot. So let's plug in our numbers again. y double dot is equal to 0 0.1. This x dot is equal to negative 3, all right? So negative 3, but we have to square that, so it's going to become a positive 9, plus 0 0.1. x is 5 meters, and x double dot is negative 1.5, the acceleration. So y double dot is equal to, if you do the math on this, you get 0 0.15 meters per second squared, and that's our answer. So we've got our two answers, velocity in the y direction, acceleration in the y direction. So yeah, it's not too complicated, right? It's just about knowing what to do. So check out the rest of my videos if you still need more help on this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.